Percent composition by mass. Well, if you want to find out what the percent of something is, you take the part that you're interested in and divide it by the whole that the part is part of, and then multiply that by 100, because percent means per 100, or out of 100. So if, let's say, 75 people out of 100 are wearing sneakers, 75% of them are wearing sneakers. Okay, so when you're dealing with a compound, it's often useful to know what the percent composition of elements in the compound is. For example, if we take a compound and we decompose it to make 4 grams of hydrogen and 32 grams of oxygen, and we want to find out what the percent by mass of the elements in the compound are, all you do is we'll do one for hydrogen and we'll do it for oxygen. Hydrogen makes up 4.0 grams of the total. The oxygen makes up 32.0 grams of the total. Then that's our part. We have to divide it by the whole, or what does the whole thing add up to? 4 plus 32 adds up to 36.0. Why point zero? Because when you're adding tenths place and tenths place, you're around the nearest tenths place. And then you multiply that by 100, and that will give you the percentage. Hydrogen makes up 4 of the 36 grams. Oxygen makes up 32 of the 36 grams. So hydrogen makes up 11%, cutting it to two sig figs, because that only has two sig figs. Oxygen makes up 88.9%. Now you're going to notice it doesn't round exactly to 100, but that's because of significant figures. It's going to be in the ballpark, right around 100. And that's how you find the percent composition of the elements in a compound with experimental data. Let me show you how you do it with formula mass. If you're given the formula and asked to find the percent composition of an element in that compound, the percent composition of that element is the formula mass of that element. That means the atomic mass times however many atoms of that element are there, divided by the formula mass of the whole compound times 100. Let me show you what I mean. If we want to find the percent composition of calcium, nitrogen, and oxygen in this compound, what we need to first do is look up the total mass that each element contributes to the formula mass in that compound. Calcium has an atomic mass, according to the periodic table, of 40.1 grams. And there's only one calcium in that compound. Nitrogen weighs 14.0. And there's two of them. 2 times 14 is 28.0. Oxygen weighs 16.0 each. There's six of them. Six times 16 is 96.0. So that is the contribution to the formula mass of each element in the compound. Let's add them up and get the total combined mass. That comes out to 164.1. And that's the mass of the entire compound, one mole's worth. Then we simply multiply by 100 after dividing to get a percent. So let's get the percent of each element. Now each one of these is going to have three, three, three sig figs for each of them. In this case, because we're taking each one of them to the tenths place, three sig figs, this does add up to 100. 5 plus 1 plus 4 is 10. It all adds up to 100. So calcium, which makes up 40.1 of the 164.1, makes up 24.4% of the compound's mass. The nitrogen, which makes up 28 out of the 164.1, makes up 17.1% of the compound's mass. And oxygen makes up 58.5%.